Hey everybody, so today we're going to learn, or we're going to make, <laughs> our own three-dimensional stick man drawing. Um, so, I'll just go over the things that you need and then I'll show you how to do it. So, first of all, you need to decide on a picture that you're going to do. I've got a couple here that I could choose from. And of course, there are lots more in the book. You could choose any of the ones <clears throat> that are in the book. Um, but I'm going to choose this one. Now, what we're going to need is some card. So I've got a, a yellow piece and a white piece here. Um, perhaps if I was going to do that other picture of the snow, I'd choose a blue piece, but I'm not doing that one. So I'm going to choose the white piece. Um, <clears throat> you'll also need to make sure you have the following things. A glue stick, some different colored pencils to choose from, some textures, and you'll also need some brown scrunchy paper, and I think that's all. So, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to draw a little bit of background in before we add our stick mats. So I'm going to have a look at my picture, and I can see in the picture that I've got to work with, let me find a pencil, um, some brown, like dirt, I guess. There's some green plants and flowers and things. There's a snail. I'm not sure if I'll include the snail. And of course, there's the stick man. So what I'm going to do before I start to make the stick man is just draw in a little bit of um, the background first. And then I'll put the stick man over the top. <clears throat> so across the bottom, I'm going to have this um, dirt ground, what do you want to call it? And it has a little bit of um, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of yellow coming through. And then it's got some green for these plants that I can see. Oh, excuse my snotty nose. Let me just go ahead and <coughs> put all that greenness in there. And then I might even use a slightly darker green to give it a bit more texture. And you can see I'm just kind of going in different directions with these lines to give it that look of some grass. And then over here, there are, looks like a couple of tulips. So I'll go ahead and just draw in those leaves like on there. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. You just want to make it look like you're drawing. It could look kind of similar. And then I'll get, do I have gray? I have this purple, so I'm gonna use this purple color for the rock that the little old snail is sitting on. Oh, that's not even purple, is it? It's blue. It's blue, you silly Billy. We want purple for the rock that that snail is sitting on. Just give it a little bit of shape there by shading it a bit darker around the edge. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I have a snotty nose. I'm going to put the flowers and the other little brown bits in later on. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is start to create the stick man himself. So if I have a look at stick man, he's got quite a long body. Um, in this picture, he's running. So his legs kind of go straight across here and then down and up with some little feet. Um, and his arms are kind of in the opposite direction to his feet. He's got a nose, head, some legs. So we're going to get the brown paper, pa paper, paper, and 
<clears throat> I'm going to look at the size of my page here. I think. So I'm going to look how my, like how tall my piece of paper is compared to this picture over here. So I don't really need very much paper. I also don't need scissors. So I'm just going to tear <coughs> a little piece off like this. And yeah, scrunch it. Scrunchy, scrunch, just scrunch. That starts to look a little bit like, you guessed it, a stick. If I put it on my page, and it's probably a little bit too long, isn't it? So, I might put it this way because this kind of looks like it might be good for his head shape. So, maybe I'll like tear it around about there. Ah, tear, come on. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. and that's good. Then that can be his head. So, I'll just sit it there. I'm not going to stick it down just yet. I'm just going to get my pieces ready. So then I'm going to use this other piece that was just part of the, it was on here. <clears throat> I'm going to turn that into his leg. So I want his leg to go straight and then bend up and then like this. Oops. So I mean, it doesn't look quite right at the moment, but once I stick it down, it should be okay. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I need another piece, so I'm gonna tear another little piece from here. So this other leg. Mm, it's probably too long. Oh, is it too long? I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna scrunch this piece up. <coughs> too scrunchy. And so then this one will become his another leg. Again, I'm just like folding it to the space I want it to be. Hmm. Do we think that looks like some legs? Hmm. Maybe. What's going on with this one? Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? So. Anyway, when I stick it down, I'll hopefully stick it in the right spot. Um, and then we need his arm. So again, just tearing a couple of more, a couple of more bits. Me and my good English here today. Uh huh. And then again, scrunchy <coughs> And wow, that is a mighty long arm. I think it's a bit too long. Do you think that could make two arms? Maybe not long enough then. So okay, let's make another arm here. And this one. And then <coughs> I keep getting my hands out of the camera, sorry about that. Put that one there. And they're way too long, aren't they? <laughs> it's like my arms are so long right now. So they're, they're just too long, those arms. So um, we just move this across a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so if I have his leg here, um, and I might just make this one a bit shorter by taking this bit off. Right. Okay. And then... Um, and then this one, maybe that one's not too bad for length. Might just do a little tear here so that you can show his branches because he has branches like for hands. <laughs> He's gonna be very long, but his arms are pretty long, aren't they? Look, although not longer than his legs, so I'll stick it a bit closer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put these over here, sort of in order-ish. I'm going to get my glue stick. Dun, dun, dun. And <clears throat> I'm going to put some glue on the paper around about where I want it to be. So I'm going to have it to go around about here. Oops, Daisy. 
Oh, the glue is going a bit funny. I left the lid off it just before. See, don't leave the, leave the lid off your glue stick or it ends up going funny. So, I'm going to twist his body around. Put that on there. You see the glue's on the edge. It doesn't look so cool, but anyway. Put a bit of extra there to just help stick his head down. Because that's going to be his head. <coughs> Now I'll get one of the legs. So I might actually put some glue on the paper for this one. Maybe then I won't end up with so much glue all over the place. So, so this leg's going to go straight out and then bend up. Oop, bend up maybe there. And then his foot goes over. So the glue is helping me to get it to stick where I want it to be. So it looks more like in the picture. And then I get his other leg, which I'm going to put there. <coughs> and again, I think I'll just put the glue straight onto the paper here. Because then, um, oops, I don't end up with all that extra glue on the page, which makes it annoying when you're trying to do some work with your pencil so it kind of goes straight across here doesn't it and then it bends down and then he has his his wee little foot sticking out there you know so he can run along on his foot yeah that's what we want for stick man we want him to be able to run on his sticky legs so you can see once I put the glue on, it starts to look a bit more like you want it to look. And you can still keep working it around a little bit. Okay, now for his arms. So this was the one I had on this side because that was making his um, hands. So again, I'll put the glue straight on the paper this time. You can put it on the paper on the background as well, but oh, I think this kind of works a little bit. A little bit better, but I'm going to put it more there because I think I maybe made it a bit too long when I pulled it out before. So, oh my voice is so croaking. I'm like a froggy. Grub up, grub up. Um, so, actually, it should be more like this, shouldn't it? It's going straight out there and then down. Oh my gosh. Now he's got three fingers. Okay, and then this one is going to go this way. So again, put the, pa uh, the glue on the paper directly. You can see I'm just sort of pressing it on to the end there. Try not to get too much on your fingers, otherwise you get it all over the place. So this arm comes out of the same spot kind of, but it goes down and then it goes up, doesn't it? All right. And of course, I'm just going to tear this a little bit to make his edge hands. <coughs> All right, I feel good about that. If you've got any extra pieces, just kind of keep them to the side because you might need it for something later on, such as his nose. I just realized I didn't put his nose. So his nose is quite long. Look at it which is like right out to here. That is one long nose. It kind of sags down a little bit, doesn't it? So, um, I'm gonna get this piece. I think it's too long. So I just uh, tear it off a little bit. Yeah, scrunch a rooney, scrunch a rooney, scrunch a runch a rooney. Okay. And again, I'm gonna put the glue straight on the paper like this. Dun, dun, dun. And <coughs> attach his mighty fine nose here. Oh, that is a bit too long, though. <laughs> the longest nose in history. Okay, there we go. All right, I like that. I'm just going to wash the glue off my fingers while you look at my beautiful stick man. Okay. Oh my gosh. Tripping over, dropping things. 
Alrighty, so now, now you're gonna take a texture. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use a black texture. We're gonna draw on his eye. So if you have a closer look, you can see that his, is his eye yellow? I don't know, is it? Let's see. Well, maybe not really yellow, but um, so his eye is just kind of like above his nose there. So let's draw an eye on here. Oh, this bit of paper's in the way. Not to worry. And then he has a smile, which is just here. So it's down a little bit. When this he looks a bit sad, let's make him look happy. He's running, but wasn't he running away from things that were a bit of a worry? But he's still smiling. Oh, there's a good lesson for us all. Okay, um, if you had some white, you might want to put a little bit of white in his eye there, but I don't think we have this at school. I'll fix that up in a minute. Okay, so now um, I'll go back to the drawing here and I can see that he's got two little leaves here and two little leaves there. So I'm going to put the little leaves on. I'm just going to use brown, uh, sorry, black text because I don't have a brown one. And it goes, oh, I don't think I drew the right shape then, but oh well. And then this one goes up like something like this. And then down here he's got two little leaves coming off his elbow oops and then they've put the lines in the middle for the leaves with these other little like veins of the leaves and up here as well okay so I've got the lid back on my glue so I don't have it wasted okay so this is where you'll use your pencil. So if you use texture over texture here, you'll end up with all the black ink from the texture running and making a mess. So by using pencil, you get a little bit more texture as well. And you could use, you know, a light green one up here because his head's closer to the sun, I suppose. So maybe it looks a little bit brighter at, at this point. Yeah, okay. And now um, we want to add these flowers. So I'm going to use a red pencil to make the tulip shapes. Ooh, something like this. I think it's good. We'll do the trick. So you can see it's like a U shape, isn't it? Like the shape of the letter U, and then, and they're a little bit red in the top, I think, and then a little bit more yellowy orangey. So maybe I'll put yellow in the bottom, and maybe I'll put oh, orange here so it kind of changes color. It's like a rainbow. <clears throat> okay, okay, and now um, you could if you wanted to, and I might, why not, I might as well. <coughs> now that I've already done the lead, I'm going to use black here to go around the edge of the flower to just accentuate things a little bit. Yeah. And then we want the stems going down into the, the green parts there. And then I do wish I had a brown texture, but I don't. I've got a green one, though, so maybe I'll try that. Uh, so I want to draw these little ones here. And guys, it doesn't have to be super exact. Just as you like it, okay? Alrighty. Um, and then I'm going to put these brown bits here. 
they look like i don't know what that kind of plant that is but something like this maybe and then we've got some green ones over here it's not in the exact same spot but you know it's our picture so we can have it like we want and now we want the little snail sitting on the rock he's going up like this with his little eyes except i haven't made that round enough have i he's got a smile and he's got his shell on his back yeah um and he's kind of this skin color i don't think a snail is really a skin color is it i might be tricking us with that one And I might use my black again to go around again to accentuate the snail shape. Whoops, I've got the wrong side of the marker there. This side is the side we want. This little mouth. has got these kind of stripes going around now you don't have to do the snail if you don't want to you know you don't have to even do any of this if you really don't want to but it'd be good if you give it a good try okay um, so you've created a background this is the background oh the snails kind of probably on equal ground to stick man um, and then you've put stick man in what's called the foreground and of course you must remember to write your name on your work. I'm going to write my name up here. And I'm even going to put smile because I'm so happy with my drawing. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, keep it simple. Don't get too complicated. Don't make it hard on yourself. And yeah, just do the best that you can do. Oh, I didn't mean to use red, but now I am. So there we go. <laughs> We've got a red and brown snail. All right, so I look forward to seeing your fabulous Stickman drawings. Hooray!